Hey there. This is Tony. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. We're out here at uh, Robin Hill Campground. It's a Thousand Trails Campground. It's in Lynn Hartsville or Leonardsville. I exactly how to pronounce it. Pennsylvania. It's not a bad campground. I like it so far. I'm actually sitting by the pool. Let me show you what it looks like. It's empty right now because it's about 6.30 or so. I know her. And it's a little deeper down here, five feet. And you can actually go around here. And it's like a little a mini lazy river. And that, uh, that little mushroom there keeps it cool. But it's well maintained. I will say this. They probably could use a bath. A little bit of dirt around the side. They could be doing some of that. A little bit of this is here. All in all, it's a good pool. I like the pool. I will definitely be back probably tomorrow. Or tomorrow before lunch. Uh, they do a good job landscaping. I like the landscaping they have here. But I'm going to show you more of this in just a little bit. Because you just entered the coolest life. RV Park Edition. Well, that is an activities building. They have uh, different activities. Some kid activities and most of this for the on the weekends is for weekenders that are here there are several people this park has got oh i don't know uh probably i would my gut would say 150 uh rv spots uh i got some just being this being the pool they got some on the other side of the pool and i got some down the hill and that's the activity center they have bingo there on weekends and, and some other things uh hi so this side here across the pool you can see they've got a basketball court here it's, it's not much of a court uh, actually the kids have been hanging on the net so the net came down probably won't buy a net put it for myself that's a maintenance shed there and uh, there is rv parking on up the hill that way they've got an office right there it's a decent office they've got uh, different supplies that you might have forgotten uh, this is the laundry facility my wife is actually doing laundry in there now uh get to work woman She's not around here, is she? No, she didn't hit me, so I guess I'm good. So, sorry about the wind. The, uh, uh, they were in good condition. Uh, they're automatic. You uh, pay a price. You can use a car. You don't have to take quarters in there for the laundromat. Bathrooms, could use some TLC. Uh, showers are functional. I think the shower's next to mine, and we'll take you through those because they're right next to my RV site is where we're parked at, but I'll show you the RVs in just a minute. So this is their rec room right across from the uh, uh, pool area. Got a lot of good games in here. I'm actually surprised. I'm gonna come down here and burn $5. It's actually one of the better rec rooms. It's about like the one we were in New York in Plasky. Check out that video. I will I will post it somewhere up here, uh, Plasky. Uh, you wanna check it out because you might wanna, they got a really nice rec room. It's about three times this size. Probably about as many games though, because those are really spread out. Kinda cool. So this is next to the uh, lake, uh, one part of the lake which is where the pool is, and the other half is, is the other side of the lake is where we're at now. I think that's where we can do it. But they've got some cabins here for rents. Actually, it doesn't look like they're rented right now. Looks like they're all empty. But they uh, look to be well maintained. I like it. They're relatively new. I think these are what they call park models. Some people live in these. Uh, but they also got some for RVers, this is your basic uh, campsite. Most of them have got a. Uh, uh, most of them have got a uh, uh, outlet. So I think these are all 30 amp. Is what these are. But the neat thing about this one here, and I really like this, is you see your post that's there. Uh, your post is sticking up there in the center. Everything's connected to it. If there's water, it's going to be on the back side of it. Your cable is on it, and your. Uh, your sewer drain is not far from these don't look like they have sewer so these would not be full hookups but these are going to have power and water on them again uh, i believe especially as short as these are these are probably 30 amp only so uh that's down here by the lake and they got a place here you can actually cross the water and go on up to where we just were the game room is on up the hill back to behind those trees those cages just decided to go make some noise now since i'm out here videoing <laughs> So this is the basic site. You're going to get a uh, fire pit and you're going to get a uh, uh, table. And here's your sewer. Decent condition. And here's your water. I really like this. I got this on mine too. I got the dual water spigot. I don't really need it because I've got a dual splitter on mine. But uh, it's real handy to have an extra splitter. Cable comes right up to you. 
and this one here as you can see is 30. It's actually got two 30s but uh, it is a 30 amp. So I'm gonna turn that one off. So that's a 30 amp there. So it's all together. I like that because sometimes you, you get them and your water spigots over here and then over here is your power. And I really like the same unit. Other, other units you'll see in other parks they'll have a light uh, right right here that's on there so this is actually a secondary site here and it looks like this one here might have some sort of pit i don't know what this is let's go find out it's, it's sewer pit so that's the sewer interesting it's right in the middle of there that's some kind of sewer pit um yeah, that should be the sewer pit there with the hookups <laughs> anyway uh you can see he's got his dolly here i didn't see it in another place for a dolly so i got mine actually over here that's that's me sitting there with a, I got my dolly set up over here um it's not real full right now because this is a weekday what is it? today is oh today's monday but here's the bathrooms here they got a big load of rocks I don't normally take you through bathrooms, but uh, all clear, fire in the hole. So I'm gonna take you through the restroom here to show you what it looks like. It's a little decorative. Everything looks like it's in good condition. It does have hot water. I'm gonna let that run a little bit just to be sure. Yesterday I was in here running the shower and it didn't seem like the hot water actually got hot. So I'm gonna let that run just a little bit and show you what the shower looks like. Could use a good cleaning. This is the color of the tile, but a nice good scrubbing would do some wonders. But it's in good condition. I like it. And I am, uh, there's actually a step up here, and then you would step down into the shower. So it's in, it's in good condition. The rock seems to work, and this one here is out of order. It's out of order because of the top spigot I saw was missing the head on it. But other than that, they're in good, they're in good condition. I'd be okay with having a sh taking a shower here. And of course toilets, I'm not gonna show you a toilet, but let me double check this water. Ooh, it is nice and hot, good. I might come in here and do me a shower one day when I decide to shower again. <laughs> Normally I shower in my RV. Uh, then they got, let's see if this works. I think it does work, good. Then they got a towel dispenser there. Dumpsters. And they do have some sites that do not have um, a dump station. So they actually have a dump station here next to the restrooms. If you care to use it, I don't need it because I've got sewer at my site. But there's a lot of them out here that don't. So I'll, I'd say a lot. There, most of them do, but some don't. But you can see it's a lot like a um, uh, traditional campground. The differences you would see here that you wouldn't see, It's you could automatically tell it is not a state campground. State campgrounds give you more room you've got normally got a larger site military campgrounds typically the same that i've seen a uh, little more room between campsites like this one here's a these are not a pull through sites there's actually a site here and there's a site there so they're back to back almost mine just happens to be a pull through uh, but it's really nice because over here sun's going to go down and when you i'm going to give you a picture of what you see on the other side, what, what a sunset looks like around here. It's really nice. Well, this is the, uh, I was gonna say south end, but it's actually the north end of the park. You can see some of the other cabins. Lots of different cabins. I've got some of the front porches and some over here's got side porches. Uh, it's early morning. I say early morning. Early for me, it's 9 a.m. But it's a real nice park, you see they they cut the grass and done a good job with that. And, uh, some of these down here at this end are more the long-term campers. Basically, they rent the spaces for 12 months out of the year. Um, bring their own. A lot of times, you can definitely tell they're, they're long-term campers when they have like a deck on the side, like this one's got. He's got a deck, and uh, they've got more stuff in the yard as if they've been there a while. Uh, Lots of flags and ornaments and just, anyway, just lots of stuff in the yard. Uh, because uh, short-term campers, um, unpacking all that kind of 
stuff or crap or whatever it is, it's just too much of a pain in the butt because then you just got to pack it up in a, a week or a month. But uh, so uh, that's just one of the things you look for when you go to a park. It's really good sometimes to have a park that's got long termers because they tend to know the ins and outs. Uh, they tend to help the uh, staff keep everybody straight. You know, they give you the stink eye if you're speeding and stuff like that. So, but uh, uh, so that's kind of good in that sense. Uh, sometimes you get long-term campers that uh, a little might take advantage of the of the system. Here I go. Hey, I'm quoting again. <laughs> they might take advantage and uh, get uh, uh, they get little perks and they get the benefit of the doubt and 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 sometimes uh, uh, when you when you leave. Uh, power like that into too many people they almost think like they own the place and may treat uh, short-termers uh, in accordance with that if you know what I mean maybe you know what I mean maybe you don't but, but anyway uh, so uh, my point there is sometimes it's good and bad that you've got long-term if it was me if it was my park I'd actually kind of want some long-term campers uh, maybe not half the park but 10 or 15 would probably be okay especially if they were toward the back of the park where the areas that you can't see quite as well basically like this is because right here is the office area here i'm gonna walk across this bridge and most of the short-term campers are up above here and are on the other side of these trees at that end not at this end so they've actually kind of set it up pretty good all of these cabins here that i'm walking through right now this is empty um are not long-term they don't so they don't have people here long term obviously as you can tell there's not a lot of stuff out front these are obviously empty there's no cars here no bicycles or anything so anyway uh i'm about to go to the office and uh look around a little bit and pick up a package actually which their policy here is they don't want any packages coming here but we had ordered something prior to getting here thinking we're just gonna get shipped it wasn't an everyday thing it's just like something small and i actually didn't realize that they didn't have a package policy probably should have checked first but it's one of those um ask for uh forgiveness instead of permission yeah kind of one of those uh but it's not a big package it's something small so it should be a big deal so this is a pole and um as you can tell in case you didn't know what a pole was <laughs> it's actually got some of these things on there these are essentially um wi-fi receivers and senders so they've got wi-fi here and their Wi-Fi is a pay-as-you-go. It is not free. Uh, they've got different plans, daily plans, weekly plans, monthly plans. Can be a little costly. Actually, right now, I was going to get their two-week plan because typically you get service here. And when you're running your Fire Stick or Roku's or whatever, you get a little better service on them than you would, say, your AT&T hotspots, Starlink. You get a little better service here from what I've seen for the ones that you pay for. Um, so that's why you would want to pay for him. Uh, clear signal, consistent kind of stuff. Especially when the park isn't full. So, uh, but I didn't get it because they wanted $38 for two weeks. Yeah, I thought it was a little stiff. So, I opted to not get it. So, but that's one of the poles. And they've got those poles like that throughout the, uh, throughout the park. So that's why I didn't get that. Uh, coming back up the hill here. It's really a well-maintained park as far as um, physically. Uh, I did mention in the pool, the pool could definitely use some TLC. Maybe they're guys that they have hired here doing maintenance on the grounds or just not qualified for it. I don't know. But uh, they probably could should have done some of that maybe several months ago, especially with some of the tile pieces coming off the sides of the pool. I mean, you could recognize that when you drain it and look at it but anyway one of those little things another one of them days something here by the pool i here by myself of course it is about two o'clock on a wednesday and this is august so there, this pool should be a little more crowded than this even for a wednesday at an rv park but it's not it's definitely better than setting up the house without a pool that's for sure it's another another day of RV life. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy it. If I 
try to plan things around um, leisurely activities instead of the other way around. But uh, uh, this is the RV park of Robin Hill out in uh, out in Pennsylvania, We're just just outside of Allentown. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice place. It's just another typical day of uh, having a good time, living the coolest life. That's for sure.